Well, hello everyone. We are in such a hurry right now because uh, Marola is probably getting an aneurysm due to Draco. So we might as well go on ahead and go to her instantly because I don't think she's coping well with the whole situation. Why did she even like go like, oh, I'm not interested? Oh, that's probably because she can't. She kind of forced to do it. Oh dear. Oh no. Baby said Draco. Back to Draco. Uh, this is so bad. Are there other people? Oh, is it looking? No, but at least they got cleaned up. Like, it seems clean now. That's good. They, 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 they made sure stuff worked. Good. <laughs> this is so not good. <laughs> okay. Glad you finally showed up bright. Hope you got advice from McGonagall about Malfoy. I did. What have you two been up to? My father stopped by. He says we will go home as soon as he's done expecting the place. Oh, he does actually seem happy-ish. And I expect I won't have to see either of you again. You might have to, depending on the seven year, if if we you are starting your school in seventh year or not. Oh, that could be a fun reunion. Can you remember us, you little? Right. <laughs> oh dear. Already? We haven't even been properly introduced. Well, I know who you are. You're Ray Bright, and she's Marula's knight. I'm Malfoy. Draco, Malfoy. And this is ridiculous. <coughs> Don't blame me. It was Bright's idea. Oh, come on, Draco. It couldn't hurt to talk to us. <laughs> I like her reactions. Like, is he actually seriously thinking about it? Is he actually, actually interacting? <laughs> After all the hours I had spent, I don't know how long McGonagall's lessons are, but all the hours I spend on trying to make something work. And then she just comes and asks if we can talk. Just <laughs> By all of this had in words. <laughs> I suppose I haven't got anything better to do than talk to you. So as long as Snide doesn't try to do anything. Oh, <laughs> that's why she's making that face. <laughs> oh dear. Let's start with, what do you think of Hogwarts? Hogwarts? I will tell you exactly what I think of Hogwarts. Oh, that sounds... sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's something positive, my child, because you have to go here yourself at some point. Most likely, according to timeline, but also just... If it had not been a school he was attending, uh, be careful what you say because you might not get an invite to the school if you talk badly about them. Which is actually, actually not, that, that can be put on you. Oh dear. Yeah, like, responsibility of one's actions and wordings, you know, stuff like that. Okay, let's see. My father says Dumbledore is the end worst thing that ever happened to Hogwarts. Oh dear. Does your father say that Dumbledore is the worst thing that happened to the school? Or is it because that little Waldy, which I usually call Voldemort, little Waldy, didn't get the position that he wanted and now pissed at Dumbledore? Is that what is it? Is he having a slight tantrum as well? Oh dear. At least Marula and Draco aren't shouting. Yet. Enjoy it while you have it. Obviously, I will be in Slytherin. Everyone in my family has been in Slytherin. Couldn't it have been fun if he was sent to Hufflepuff? Just for story's sake. Just imagine if he were sent to Hufflepuff instead of Slytherin. The embarrassment of the family. Because they seemingly don't like Hufflepuffs because many muggles are sorted into Hufflepuff. But they also saw... Actually, a lot of the wizards are actually sort of into different houses, but Slytherin is most commonly known to have the pure, pure bloodline families. Again, because of 
south of Slytherin, as far as I know. Okay, let's see here. If your father hates Hogwarts so much, why bother bringing you here at all? Yeah, that's actually a good question. I bet I could make up a better visit school than this place. Well, good luck, little child. Not to be demeaning, but if a seven, six, seven year old, yeah, I could do this better. You do that with all the taxes and finances you have to know about for running a school. Employment details. And all the other things that you have to be aware of when even just starting a company. Good luck with that chat. If you can manage it, you'll be a boss baby. <laughs> it's not even a kitten, there is a movie with a boss baby. That's kind of fun. Anyway. Strange that Mr. Malfoy says such horrible things about Hogwarts. Indeed. I take back anything I said about this being a good idea. Oh dear. They're not too pleased about everything. The grounds here are rubbish. My father should fire you, groundskeeper. If you fire your if he fire our groundskeeper, I will I'll probably not do that to you. I was like I just learned in San Diego. <laughs> oh dear. No. Oh, shut up. I'm thinking about popskins. Oh, that's actually a nice little thing of thinking about. I'm just like trying to zone him up, like, oh, let the child talk. I'm just gonna think about popskins. That's actually a great idea. If he says something rude, I'll just start thinking about puff skins. They also so cute. <laughs> it's the worst thing that's ever happened. Yeah. But he still have to communicate nicely to Dumbledore because even though he's a governor of Hogwarts, I don't think you should put yourself in a corner against the headmaster. Because that I don't think he'll be popular about that. I don't think. Professor McGonagall said I should understand Draco. I have to give it a try. Yeah, like you, you should still understand the kids. So of course, of course, because again, as I said in the previous one, like kids are usually just a result of their genes biologically. Also, if they have some challenges, that's what it is. But a lot of the time, it's also the environment they grew up in. Because I don't think Drago ever considered anything else than the world he's in. Because he's never been forced to take things into account or actually been forced to take responsibility for one's actions. As I mean, that, that's kind of just a thing. And the facts, I think. I don't know. Am I being too rude? I don't know. I'm being slithering. Yes. Can we make a curse so he goes into Hufflepuff? Not that I want him in my house, but I just think it could be funny because Hufflepuffs get a bad rap. And it could be fun to just see this little I'm so going to Slytherin and then Hufflepuff, that's where you're going. Like, it would be kind of ironic. Very much so, like, I'm going to slip. Why am I in half of that? Like, mm, I'm beginning cosmic and punishment. <laughs> that, could be, that could be a bit fun, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it could. Uh, at least they're not shouting at each other. Yes. Why bother bring you at all? Yeah, why would he actually bring his kid if... If he really hate... Again... Like, where is Narcissa? I think her name was. Where is the mother? Not saying that the mom should be at home or anything, but he could also just have hanged out with his mom instead of being dragged here with his father. And, but I, mean, I get it, it's story plot. We have to meet them because obviously they're part of the story, da da da. But logically, the kid could also just have stayed with the mom, wherever the mom is, in the cafe or whatever. Because I don't think Lucius would stay like for days at the school if he hates it that much. Um. Yes. 
There we go. I think we're there. I take back anything I said about this being a good idea. Well, that's a good one to end off on, I must say. <laughs> You want to know what I think of Hogwarts? My father says this place has gone to the dogs. Father says, and it's very clearly that he doesn't make his own opinions when he start out with, my father says, instead of creating his own opinion, he's just mimicking what his parents said, or especially his father. My father says you are the best in your year. Shows how pathetic this school has gotten. Well, you haven't seen our tricks. Ugh. I am the most powerful witch at Hogwarts. Not saying much. My father says, again, when you don't have opinions of your own, but you just mimic, it It just tells you he's never... Even he's not even been allowed to think critically. He just have to say, yes, father, that's, that's how it is. He's not even started to think critically about anything. And even also indicates his age because my father says it's something you say when you're very young but as soon as you start school years at the age of six seven eight you start to learn to create your own opinion kind of uh, uh, your own opinion about things so it does indicate that either draco is very young or he's never been allowed to think critically about anything just observation really <laughs> a sad evaluation of an observation <laughs> Oh dear. My father says this sorry excuse for school is full of mudbloods. What did you say? Do you even know what that word means, Draco? I know my father says mudbloods are embarrassment to the visiting world. So he doesn't even know what mudbloods is at this point. Which also indicates he's not that old, I'm guessing. <laughs> my, my approach to this without getting... Uh, is actually trying to analyze his language because I don't think he's really been able to think critically because his father's opinions are so deep in his upbringing that he's never questioned anything because that's just his life or that or again as I say he is very very young probably and he's and we are supposed to be what 12 and he's like a miniature version of us, basically. Oh dear. Ha! You're going to torrid that sort of language, Bright? Should we scold Draco or reason with Draco? Um, if we have to look back at what McGonagall said, is that there is both give and take, but if he does something inappropriately, you should discipline. He's not even questioning what a mock blood is. He's just going, my father says they're the worst thing to the visiting world. He's not going, oh, no, but what does it mean? Instead of questioning, if he was questioning, I would reason with him. But since he's not questioning and just, well, my father says it, so it must be so. I will tell him, it, not necessarily scold him, but I will tell him what's for. As in, this is what it is. Don't say that. Saying certain things without even knowing what they mean can get you into trouble. That's kind of what I'm will hope Ray's approach is with the scolding. But let's see here. Draco, there's no excuse for using that word. What, Mockbot? My father says it all the time. It's not like you can do anything about it. Dumbledore doesn't let you learn any real spells. Father wants to send me to Durmstrang. He knows the headmaster. They teach you proper curses at Durmstrang? I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Wait, is that the other um, school that we see in the movies? The other than Bobadden? I think it is. It must be. Because that headmaster was also a former Death Eater, so that would make sense. And in previous episodes, I could not remember what that school was called, so that's probably the one. Ugh. 
I know loads of curses. Prove it then. Wait a moment. Locomoto Vipoli. <laughs> I do not. Locomoto Vipoli. Oh dear. Wow. Very funny, Marula. Let me have a go. Too bad you're too young. I'm not letting you anywhere near my wand. Then you teach me, Bright. Ah, uh, we haven't got the time. Your father should finish his Hogwarts inspection soon. You simply have to wait until you come back to Hogwarts and learn spells yourself. Father, you won't believe. Not now, Draco. Yeah, this is what I kind of assumed is even though Draco is kind of going like, look, father, I found out this and do, do, do. he just, nope. He's just cutting off his kid for having any opinion or showing any signs of interest of anything, really, I think. Oh, I just, oh, he just wants to report. Okay, let's see. I want to inform Miss Bright and Miss Snyder that their caretaking duties will shortly come to an end. I will expect I will see you in the headmaster's office soon enough. Okay. Interesting. Meet the fell. There's a thief at Hogwarts. Can you find Mr. Malfoy's stolen... Oh, that's why she mentioned the cane. That's because it... It has an it has a role to play in this event. That makes sense. Anyway, let me read this done before my hits get a brother. There's a thief at Hogwarts. Can you find Mr. Malfoy's stolen cane and save an innocent house elf? Or did they blame Dobby? Don't they dare? Okay, let's see. Baby said Draco. Please come to my office. I'm afraid there is an urgent mandate to attend to. Oh dear, what now? Well, other than the cane is probably gone. <laughs> Let's see here. Make no mistake, Mr. Dumbledore. I report this to my fellow Hogwarts governors. What are you doing here? And where's my son? Marola is watching him. <laughs> I asked Miss Bright to join us. I expect her investigative abilities will be quite helpful. What's wrong, sir? Someone has stolen my wand. Wasn't it the... Oh, yes, it's... Is his wand in the cane? Maybe it is. I actually don't know. Because the cane was gone missing, but... Uh. That's terrible. Who would have taken your wand? The thief must have known I kept my wand concealed in my cane. It's probably Draco. <laughs> because my heads and bets is that it's Draco who took it. Mostly because Marula wouldn't let him touch her wand and we didn't want to teach him. So he decided to take his own, his father's wand because he knows where it is. That is my guess, just by the fact it kind of is obvious. Mm. Perhaps it will help to give Ray Bright a full explanation. All right. Three hour one. Okay. What do you have to say, Mr. Lucius? The thief is cunning. Who else could I have absconded with my property? Well, if you don't walk around with your cane on the time. I don't know. Sounds like Mr. Malfoy's wand vanished under his own very nose. Yeah, if he was holding it all the time or carrying it around all the time, how did any... Did he just put it away for like five seconds and Malfoy, the little Draco were like, like... Yum! <laughs> just yanked it away. <laughs> Let's see here. A few at Hogwarts know I keep my wand in my cane. Yeah, but we don't know anything about that. But if a few at Hogwarts know it... 
then why would he blame a house elf? House elves are not allowed to steal, as far as I know. You have a talent for solving mysteries. Now you must put it into the test. Yeah, else the school will have an issue, won't they? The theft of my wand reflects poorly on Hogwarts. How can that be? Sometimes thefts are, happens because you don't think, Mr. Malfoy. This is gonna be a messy business, isn't it? He's probably already have a person in mind, it has to be them, da da da, because his opinion is infinite. It cannot be changed, it cannot be altered. That's how it is, and that is how it must be, kind of thing. Instead of just changing your mind every now and then. I last saw my wand shortly before Dumbledore requested your presence. So it was stolen in the headmaster's office. Okay. I did not see who took my wand. If I had, they would suffer the consequences. If it's your son, will he suffer the consequences too? Because I I am suspected that it's Malfoy or the little Malfoy Jr. Because he wants to learn spells so bad. Or not really spells, he wants to learn curses. Which is technically also a spell. Never mind. Will Mr. Malfoy blame Professor Dumbledore for this? If he can, he will, I'm pretty sure. I assure you, Mr. Malfoy, that theft is not tolerated at Hogwarts. Oh, Dumbledore is angry. And why is he smiling? He should supposedly be angry. The, fa the thief is cunning. Who else could they have absconded with my... Yeah. We're starting to circle here. Mr. Oriana says the wand chooses the visit. So the one who stole the wand would not know that the wand would not work with that. Well, you can use another person's wand, but I don't think it's that effective. I know Walty used Lucius's wand in the end of the movies. So I guess you can use another person's wand. It would just not be that effective, I'm guessing. Maybe. Sounds like Mr. Malfoy's wand vanished under his very under his very nose. Yes, it did. We're definitely circling, so we're just gonna we're just gonna choose the the clock ones, and then we're going to find the biggest one, which is a viper here. Here we go. The thief of my wand reflects poorly on Hogwarts administration. Oh, um, no, it does not. It. Even if the administration is great, you can still have a, maybe one bad apple in the bunch of the students. Not necessarily any school has it, but there might be one who doesn't care about the administration. You know, stuff like that. It doesn't necessarily mean the administration poorly. Let me make sure I understand. I think that's the second time she says this in this event. You keep your wand in your cane, Mr. Malfoy. And now your wand is gone missing, so you have a half a cane. <laughs> I believe that sums it up. Yes, very astute. I cannot leave Hawkers until my, my wand is found. And the thief caught. If you're sure the wand was stolen, you must have a suspect. Few people know that my wand is concealed within my cane. Myself and my elf. Mm. That's a serious accusation, Mr. Malfoy. Indeed. Non-human magical beings are forbidden the use of wands. And such crimes deserve punishment. Good day, Headmaster. Sir, what will happen to Mr. Malfoy's health elf if I can't find the missing wand? I'm afraid Mr. Malfoy is correct. The code of wands use forbids non-human magical beings from using wands. House elves and goblins do not need wands to use magic. Why create a law that 
why create that law in the first place? Mm. It is a matter of some debate. Do you believe house elves deserve to use wands, Ray? House elves deserve wands. House elves shouldn't have wands. Well, one, the the wand chooses the carrier. And that would not matter if it was a human or half giant or house elf, whatever. But if they don't need wands, but if they wanted one, they should be able to choose. Like, live your life. As long as you don't, they don't hurt anyone with it. Yes, I believe house elves deserve the same white one right as everyone else. <laughs> Perhaps one day the ministry will overturn the wand ban. <laughs> Until that day, any house elf found with a wand w is subject to discipline. Ah. That is why I suggest you begin your search by finding the house elf before his master does. <laughs> After all, house elves have a kind of magic all their own. They see more than their masters care to contemplate. Mm. Of course, this takes away from your time with Draco Malfoy. Merula will have to take care of Draco Malfoy while I search. I will ask Penny to help me find. What is Mr. Malfoy's elf's name? <laughs> His name is Dobby. Aww, I like Dobby. It's a good elf name. It's, it's a little goofy and I like it. Oh no, it's a time re no restricting. No. You're looking for Dobby, aren't you? I'm gonna ask around and let you know if I found him. Yeah. Thank you, Penny. That's very nice of you. So. Let us just quickly go see here. Because... Oh, we're already at that point. I see. Interesting. Okay. Mr. Malfoy's mystery. Yes. And he has already made his opinion or his... He's already... And he has already made his mind up who the perpetrator is. Though no proofs are given. He just assumes and therefore he must be right kind of attitude towards things, and I don't really specifically like that. However, in the next one, we will go find Dobby. Little Dobby. And hopefully we'll find out who actually stole the wand, which... who I do believe to be Draco Malfoy. But we'll just have to wait and see. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.